Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I'm actually gonna upload my Thailand travel vlog this weekend, so it'll mean that I'm not like far behind, so that's what I'm gonna do. Thailand vlog isn't sort of the best travel vlog out of all of them. I'm not quite sure why, but just didn't get that great footage, but we did still have an amazing time, and I will link that up here somewhere because, um, yeah, hopefully you'll go and watch it if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you this, which I don't know if it's very interesting, but I really wanted one of these and I ordered it two days ago and it's the Philips fabric, basically it's a fabric shaver <laughs> for like bobbly clothes. And I've um, seen a couple of people like talk about these before and decided to get one because I've got quite a few jumpers that have just got really bobbly and a bit crap and versus thinking, oh, it's old and I want to get rid of it, I could actually try this and see if they'll be brand new again. So yeah, I'm gonna get this out now and have a go. Okay, this is what it looks like. So I went for black and then this is a jumper I'm gonna use. So you can see that it's quite bobbly here. So I might try and do a strip here, but I think I've got to put it on a flat surface. So I will do that now. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. So you can see this strip here is the bit that I've done. This I haven't done and it is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna love my life away now and <laughs> do the rest of the jumper. I'll link it below if anyone else is as uh, nerdy as me. Dan has just made me lunch, which is a gluten-free bagel, because that's what he has. And then we've got some turkey bacon, avocado, and spinach. Mm -mm. It is late now, and yeah, I haven't done loads this afternoon. I edited my Thailand vlog and did some reading and then we went out for a little walk uh, just to get some fresh air so that was really really nice it was quite a nice sunny day today I haven't bothered with makeup today I just can't can't bother basically I thought I'd just have a break from it today because I don't need to put it on um, I'm just cooking dinner now we are actually heading out to the cinema tonight to see Queen and Slim I think it's called uh, so that should hopefully be very good uh, but tonight I'm doing a corn sausage casserole and I haven't kind of filmed me cooking in a while so I thought I would. This is sort of one of my favourite things to cook and to eat so yeah. So just chopped up the ingredients, we've got some red pepper, uh, some courgette sliced and then some garlic and then also needs obviously like salt and pepper, got some cannellini beans and chopped tomatoes, some oregano so yeah I'm just going to get cracking with this. Okay, this is it finished so yeah looks good i do down a little bit of quinoa with his but i'm just gonna have it as it is so yeah looking forward to this hey guys it is sunday and we have spent most of the morning so far doing cleaning i don't think i said but we've got both our parents coming around tonight so you can imagine it's that pre-family visit massive clean basically um we've had i'm gonna basically insert some footage now, or speed cleaning. And we've just had some lunch, courtesy of Dan, he made some really good bagels. And then I've got an iced coffee here. I'm now onto oat milk. I think I was telling you that I was trying almond milk, which I was having on my breakfast and I was quite liking it. But I've been doing a bit more reading and supposedly oat milk is slightly better for the environment. So I am going with oat milk now. Oh, I wanted to say we went to the cinema last night, as I said. <coughs> and we saw Queen and Slim. And I absolutely loved it. It was just one of those films that I just thought was really, really good. Loved it. Loved like the storyline. The way it was done was amazing. The fact that it's the director's first movie it was just amazing. She's normally only ever done music videos. So yeah, it was great and I loved it. So uh, yeah, would highly recommend if you're into that. And 
I will show you downstairs in a bit because I've sort of rejigged the lounge just because our lounge is quite small and when people come over it's like it's sort of highlighted how small it is so yeah I'll show you how I rejigged that and sort of tidied it I was literally about to start vlogging on the stairs and there's a spider and Dan is out it's only small but I hate them so much can you see it go away <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna leave it there until Dan gets back <laughs> um, I have had the most productive day slash weekend and I'm feeling so good about it and um, I actually didn't say but on Friday night I went out for I went out to my friends for drinks and food uh, with another friend and oh it was just so so lovely um so I did that on Saturday drunk quite a lot but I was feeling okay yesterday but anyway it's just been a really good weekend of like doing some plans and also just really catching up on like doing the house and life admin I have I mean it's really boring stuff so I haven't like vlogged it but I cleaned out the inside of my car just now. I finally ordered prints, like photos from our travelling. Uh, I mean, we took thousands of photos. I'm not sure how many it was in the end, but thousands and thousands. And I've managed to cut it down to like 230 to print, which is probably not actually even enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm doing a big scrapbook. My friend bought me a scrapbook before we left. So I've, we also kept quite a lot of like tickets and receipts. So I'm going to do a big scrapbook of our travelling trip. But oh my goodness, that's been a job that I've really struggled to do because, cut a long story short, the images were raw. So I had to like export quite a lot of them out into JPEG and stuff. And obviously it took me a long time to choose the favourites to print. Anyway, I did that. So I'm feeling so good. I actually use Snapfish. I asked on Instagram where you guys use your like photos and... Um, a lot of you said Snapfish and I went on there and I was 50% off. So I got a really, really, really good deal on that. So I'm really happy with that. Um, oh, Dan's just calling me. Hello? Hello? They'll be with all the crisps. They won't be in, like... They won't be with the actual poppadom section. They'll be in the crisps, I think. Sorry about that. Dan went to Morrison's to get some stuff for dinner. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, and then also with my car, I checked my oil. I had to refill my water again. So, yeah. Had a productive afternoon. I haven't yet had a shower. Uh, but I think I'm going to start doing dinner because it's a really long dinner. I've never done it before either. It's a chicken mole, which is on the BBC Good Food website. And my friend actually made it for us a couple of weekends ago. And it was so good, I thought I would give it a go. So, it is a bit of a long-winded recipe. Um, so hopefully I do it justice so I think I'm going to start doing it so the time is quarter to four they're not coming till half five hoping to eat at like six so I think I'm going to start doing it and then um, I'll have a shower like in between I think before I do the dinner I thought I'd just tell you, show you how it's set up so normally we have our table like here but um, we've just pulled it out here and it actually extends so yeah I've done that and um, I got these cute little sunflowers yes sunflowers uh, daffodils yesterday these are actually all in buds this morning so they've all come out which is really nice I just love spring flowers so yeah tulips some um, tulips and daffodils just love 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 so yeah set that all up and then had a good old tidy in here normally we'd have our like sofa puff thing here but it just gives a bit more room when people come in and then they can sit around there and then also put the stool here in case anyone wants to sit. Excuse this stuff down here, it needs to go in the shed. So yeah, I had a good old clean and tidy. Now I'm going to start dinner. I've realised that I'm actually probably a little bit behind um, in terms of what timings I want to do. So yeah, I best get cracking. Wow, that is really orange light. Blah. I am coming to you from the future whilst I edit this. I'm actually editing it on Dan's computer, so I'm in a different location. Uh, but I realised that I didn't actually film any more of me talking, I just filmed a bit of food. But the dinner ended up being really delicious, I'll try and remember to link it below. Um, I did a chicken mole, it was really tasty, and I also did like an avocado and mango salad on the side, which also went down very well. Uh, my family all thought it was absolutely delicious, and it really was, so I was very happy with that. Dan also made an incredible pudding. He tends to be like the baker or the pudding man out of like our relationship. So I do the sort of the dinners and he does the seconds. So uh, yeah, he did that and it was so good. It was like a peanut butter, I can't remember now, peanut butter tart thing. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to end this vlog here. I hope it was all right. All my vlogs are a little bit over the place at the moment. Um, so yeah, I am coming at you from the future right now. But um, thank you so, so much for watching. Please let me know in the comment box below what you'd want to see. Don't forget to like this video. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye.